Everybody's favorite priest cosplayer, James Gunn, recently talked about doing a rated R Scooby-Doo movie. But if he had the time, because, you know, he's uh, very busy, especially after he got exposed for making those pedal comments, I feel like that show Hollyweird, oh, he's really down with us. Let's give him more work. And as a result, he's too busy to do this rated R Scooby-Doo movie. Now, I can only imagine what that would have included. You know, probably Velma getting down and dirty. I mean, who knows? Maybe even some relations between Shaggy and Scooby. But (laughs) that won't happen because, again, he's busy with projects in the MCU and in the DCEU with Guardians of the Galaxy and Peacemaker and the Suicide Squad, which he recently did. Now, I saw Suicide Squad. It was decent enough. And people are really looking forward to the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, Peacemaker, on the other hand, I've heard good things and bad things about it. But again, I don't even have interest in watching that for free. So, anyway, we'll see if a project like this ends up eventually happening. I mean, we know they're doing the brown Velma with that South Asian chick. And apparently that is a little bit more graphic because they use one of their promotional images that showed somebody like with their head open or something like that. You know, even though that's animation, still, you know, it's far more graphic than your typical Scooby-Doo projects. So clearly they're willing to go down that path with this uh, most recent Brown Velma project. So I could see this eventually happening. You know, a rated R Scooby-Doo. Because why not? (laughs) They're thinking of the multiple ways they can constantly reuse an old property while doing a live-action Scooby-Doo movie that's rated R. That would be one of the ways in which they haven't utilized Scooby-Doo yet. So, it'll be interesting, though, if he does a rated R version and returns the cast from uh, the movies that were released in the early 2000s. Because this was brought about through him responding to a tweet from Freddie Prince Jr., who was a part of Scooby-Doo 1 and 2. You know, but anyway, clearly Disney and Warner loves James Gunn, especially because of his tweets. So I can see him getting to a project like this eventually in the future.